Hello everyone. Welcome to my channel Automation with Arnab. Hello, I am Arnab. Hope you guys are doing very well. Today I am going to show you that how to automate Safari in iPhone. Though I am using Windows system, so that's why I am going to use Source Lab for this automation and I will show you guys that how you can use Source Lab also. Okay. I hope that you guys heard about Source Lab. Source Lab is a device lab. So where you can find the lot of device, real device, virtual devices also. It's not only the mobile devices. You can find the browsers also. You can use, you can do the parallel testing also. So you don't need any physical device with you. So lots of company, they are using Source Lab, Browser Stack, Lambda Test, CTest. There are a lot of companies that there. AWS uh, Device Hub also is available. So these are the device lab means you can say kind of cloud okay the real devices they are connected in a network in a uh, with the network and you can use remotely those devices so it's very easy for uh, people also that say they don't need the real device with them and they have to plug it connect with their system okay so that's why uh, these are very easy these days most of the companies they are using this kind of uh, facilities so i thought that i could show you that how to connect this one okay and source lab is giving you guys that uh, you can create a free account with your gmail id okay and you will get 60 minutes of uh, time so that where you can do the automation you can if you want to use the live testing also you can do that there are a lot of facilities they can you can use okay if you this is a source lab dashboard you can say once you will logged in you will come into this dashboard okay there is an option for app management, live testing, automated inside visual testing. A lot of options are there. So I'll not go in detail of this one. I'll show here that how to connect with Source Lab and how to use. Okay. So first is that how you can uh, identify any device, which devices are available. You can see even though it's a free one. That's why if you go to the live cross browser, because I am going to use the browser, that's why okay you can see these are the three devices available for the trial period i have 55 minutes left okay for this trial period so, so i am going to use iphone 15 so that's why i selected this one so once you select this one it will come here okay so uh, you can see all the details whatever the for the part that particular device okay and if you go to your code instead of using desired capabilities i have used here mutable capabilities you can use that one also if you want you can use desired capabilities also what i have used first you can see see here that one i have used here the platform name browser name so i'm going to use iphone safari that's why the platform name is ios we all know that one for android we have to use android for browser name i am going to use your safari and they hear the device name i have used iphone dot star instead of using any particular iphone model number name device name instead of using so you can give like this iphone dot star so what it will do whatever the available devices it will automatically assign that device okay and platform version if you want you can give like this 18 or you can give like this also okay so it will automatically select any 18 dot sub version and automation name we have to give xui test we all know that one when we are doing, we have to do the ios automation we have to provide the automation name as a xui test okay and after that we have to give some more details what is that some more capabilities that is the apm version we are using here latest whatever the latest version available in the source lab the device the latest version is uh, they are running their uh, server is running so that will pick that one and the username and password so here I'm showing my username and password from where you can get that one. So here, if you go here, you can find, uh, sorry, not here, sorry. From here, you can find the username and this access key. You have to copy from this one, okay? And you have to provide like this username add access key. And here you have to give the build and the name so that you can identify with the details of the test result. Where you will find that one, I will show you guys very soon. And you have to feed these things, this one, these capabilities I am feeding as a capability name is source options and I am feeding these all capabilities together okay with against this capability source colon options okay and this is the URL where the hub is running the server is running basically the APM server the 
cloud basically or the hub where the devices are connected you have to use this url okay and yeah, here i am going to use ios driver i have to feed the url and the capabilities okay so this is the way you can connect to the source lab okay and if i think if you want to check if you go here started guide if you choose here da, 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 apm you can not APM, sorry i'm going to do the browser one sorry selenium you can see the details you can find from here okay which url you have to connect and all these things okay and there is an option is that it's a platform configurator if you go here so from here you have to choose the platform which platform you want to run so suppose you have to run on ios real device any version and browser or app browser apm latest which which one which language you prefer i prefer java all the details we will find from here only so you can just copy it okay you don't have to worry about that one okay so and this is my <coughs> website so this is a react application web application this one i will open and i will automate this one so i you can see guys that i have opened this uh, website in chrome browser but i will do the automation in safari so this is a as this is a browser one we can use the same uh, elements it will not change very rare cases i found that one sometimes whenever uh, very very rare cases safari safari or different browser you will find different uh, kind of elements most of the cases you will find the same type of elements okay i believe that you guys already know that how to find elements how to create xpath if you don't know about that one i will put the links in the comment section in the description section sorry in the comment section, in the description section you can you can learn from the from that uh, tutorial videos i have uh, created already i have already it's already there in my channel okay and also i'll you can uh, click on the i button in the top so you can get uh, you can learn from that one how to create xpath complicated xpath also and you can about the apm and browser testing okay so here first i will identify this one so this is the thing i am i will take this one old rmdb logo okay you can see i have already used this one i will open the app and here also the driver weight i have used if you guys don't know about this one please go to my selenium videos you can learn about this one how to use this one and what it is okay let's go to this one so here i have used this xpath okay and i have another xpath so that is for search movies so if you scroll down a little bit it this here if you don't know how to come into this uh, look uh, this is a mobile view so this is the normal view you just right click on website and go to the inspect element you came here after that if you click on this one from here you can find this view mobile view okay from here you can choose whatever the device you want okay so it will be basically same so and from here you can choose the zoom based on your screen size okay and if you want you can rotate also okay this is the way you can choose this one okay so basically whatever the elements xpath i am finding i can find from the chrome itself and i will use the thing so it's not like that i don't have a, a mac system i don't i can't open the uh, browser uh, open the application in the safari so that i can't uh, find out the element that's not like that one okay this is the advantage of browser testing in mobile devices you can reuse the code basically okay you can reuse the element uh, xpath ids and all these things okay yeah sometimes because of the responsive thing it is hiding somewhere so for that one you have to uh, your navigation would be different but the elements will be same okay okay so what i'll do that one uh, first i will search for the logo then what i'll do that one i will search for the text box and then i will scroll a little bit and then i will type something i'll type a movie name avatar after that i'll try to search something okay 
all the thing everything i have searched all that i have shown you guys are how i have identified the elements from the chrome browser okay and after that once i have passed this one you have to uh, driver dot you have to pass if you have to execute this line of code so that you can mark the test case it is failed or passed in the source lab okay so i'm not going to in detail in source lab in this video if you guys guys want a detail uh, tutorial for source lab how to use source lab and all these things you can you guys can give a comment on this video so i'll definitely create a, a different video for that one so i have already uploaded one video for android uh, chrome uh, mobile browser automation this is for the ios safari okay so let's trigger this one Started. If you go to the sorry, if you go to source lab automated test result. Okay, you can see this is already queued. Okay, because it's waiting for the device. If you click on that one, it will show that device will be available shortly. Please stand by. Once it will allocate a device. After that, it will open the. It will it launch the URL. Find it. You search for the movie also. After that, it find it. So. And once it is done, it closed. Okay, it's done. It's waiting for to close the connection. So this is the way you can do the automation on iOS device. It's not very complicated. We are thinking that okay. And here you can see this one has a passed. Why this one has a passed? I check. You can if you go here. So after I found checking that one, once I found this one, what it is, I can show you what is this app element. If I go here, if you search for any movie here, okay, and search for this expert, you will find twenty expert. I'm just trying to check that its element is displayed or not. So this part, so basically here, the highlighted one, highlighted part, you can see, okay. So this is the way. So it's basically very easy that you can use your Chrome browser uh, to identify the elements. Also, you don't need any Mac system. You don't need any particular uh, particular system or particular setup to learn iOS automation, iOS Safari automation. You can do it very easily. Okay. So this is a very simple code I have written here. So I am explaining one more time. I am. This is the capabilities for. To connect to the device in the source lab. After that, I just launched the URL. After that, then I found some. I waited for the logo. I found basically find that one. Then I search for the text box. Okay. Then scroll into that particular element. Then type something. Wait for the five seconds. Five milli. Okay. Five thousand millisecond. Five seconds basically. And after that, I find wait for particular uh, part. This. Element okay, this image section, and then if I found it, I mark this one as a past. I this um, saving this job set as string, and after that, I'm passing this one. If you execute script like this, source colon job result equals to job status failed or passed. So, source lab will identify automatically. Okay, once this is if you pass fail, it will mark as a failed. If you passed uh, this one as a uh, passed, it will mark as a pass. Okay. So this is the way I think that you guys can use this one for your practice section. Okay, so you can do hands-on on this one. It's very easy if you already did this one with Android, and it's very easy. It's very similar, so that you don't have to maintain a separate code base. So that's the basically I want to show you guys. Okay, if you want to do the same thing, you can use reuse the code of yourself, whatever the code you have used for Android, and as well as the Desktop browser. Some of the code it will be little bit different because the navigation will be little bit different. You can see it's because of responsive thing. It's a different way you can see. Okay. Otherwise, it's basically same, exactly same. Okay. It's nothing complicated. So that's it. If you guys uh, need any help, please do a comment on this video. Okay. If you need more detail on the iPhone Safari video, if you want uh, more details or more anything. you can just email me also if you have any challenges okay 
thank you for watching this video if you find this video is very useful or my other videos also please please do share this videos with your friends colleagues others also and if you haven't subscribed my channel please do subscribe my channel as well thank you